Hello, my very dear audio friends around the world. It's me, Paul, back again in my studio, Warsaw, Poland. Guys, today we are starting from a different camera angle again, because I want you to see my iPads. My iPads are running an app called Metagrid Pro that you're seeing right now. Most of you probably know this app. If you don't, it's a very powerful app full of buttons, faders, and more stuff that lets you do keyboard commands, MIDI notes, MIDI CC, and more with any app of your choice. I'm using it mainly with my DAW, which is Nuendo. And Metagrid Pro has just got an update to version 1.3 with new cool features. For those of you who already use Metagrid, that's gonna be a chance to take a look at this. And for those of you who don't know Metagrid yet, well, I'm gonna just show you the app. Generally, you're gonna also find my series of tutorials for Metagrid uh, Pro on Metasystem IO channel. You're gonna find it here, guys. And let's dive in. So what you see are two of my iPads. Let's focus only on the left one for the purpose of today's demonstration, guys. This is my main Nuendo grid. I've got some automation buttons here. I've got some fade in, fade out, crossfade operations for my audio clips here. I've got grouping, selecting uh, clips on my timeline here. Here I've got some of the plugins I'm using most for audio restoration. Then I've got some audio clips offline operations, then I've got some basic MIDI commands I'm using most, but that's not it, of course, because I've got some mixing tools to use, mastering uh, sound design tools, restoration tools, and my favorite VSTI instruments, so that I can take whatever I wish and I can simply put it on my timeline with one click. How does this happen if you didn't know? You're not a Metagrid Pro, Pro user? Let's say this is a so-called macro. I press a custom control uh, shortcut for bringing up the window with track presets. I press tab three times to get into the field of writing the name of the track preset. Then I'm writing pigments, which is the name of the track preset. I press tab to go to the enter. I press down to, again, go to the field of pressing enter. And I finally press enter manually. It would look like this. Control Shift P, tab, tab, tap, pigments, tab, down, at track. But why should I bother with this when I can do it using a single press of a button? And this is mainly what Metagrid Pro is all about, but there's way, way more there. We're not gonna get all into it from the very scratch. As, as I told you, there's a series of tutorial on Metasystem IO. But guys, 1.3 comes with a cool, I mean, this is a groundbreaking feature that's gonna change all my grids for good. Because Metagrid Pro right now not only can um, guess the app you're using, like for example, I'm switching to my Chrome browser right now, and I've got just the button for download, so I'm not, not using uh, any Metagrid commands with my browser. Then I can get back to, to Nuendo, so uh, right, it switches. But now, Metagrid can do something like this. Let's get into the settings here. And guys, Meta Server settings here enable scene switching from computer keyboard. We're gonna turn this on. We wanna also turn on enable window title capturing so that um, Metagrid is going to grab the title of a window for us for the setup purposes. So this is my main uh, new window window, but when I switch to mixer, I can actually make my Metagrid Pro switch a separate grid for my mixer or a set of grids. And guys, I haven't done this yet, but let's see if that works. So let's say Nuendo left, Content Manager, Nuendo left, Edit. And now I'm gonna paste title exactly. I'm gonna paste title from the current Nuendo window, but Projects have different names, so what I really want to grab from the name, I don't have to grab the whole name, uh, is just that 
I take Nuendo project, it appears in every main Nuendo window. Just Nuendo project, done. And this screen is going to appear. Then I'm actually going to create a new grid. I'm going to call Mixer. And now, with my second iPad, I'm opening the Mixer. Create. Now it's going to be empty. I'm going to edit. Paste title, Mix Console. Of course, I'm going to remove the name of the project because I want it just to take Mix Console. I need this to be universal for all my projects. And I'm going to press Done. And guys, now I'm pressing the Mixer. Yes! This is the Mixer Grid that appeared. It's empty. I haven't prepared it yet, but it works. Now when I close the Mixer, I'm back to the main... Yes! And guys, this means that my grid's gonna grow with me and go, they're gonna be less crowded a bit because I'm gonna be able to really put the buttons where they belong because these are mixer buttons, VSTI buttons, uh, 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 audio edit buttons, MIDI edit buttons, drum roll, piano roll, everything together. When I have a separate windows for like, I'm gonna whatever, 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 really simply whatever. And now when I click this, again, I'm getting a key editor, for example, for my MIDI. Same story. It's going to be a separate grid for me with my MIDI commands that I need to see in my key editor. When I close the key editor and I get back to the main window, I'm going to switch back to my main grid. And guys, ah, that's really, like, really cool. The second cool thing out there are so-called snapshots. Snapshots are a special function buttons that let you recall the state of other buttons, MIDI CC, MIDI notes, velocity settings, whatever, on your screen. So you're going to have a set of buttons and MIDI faders, for, for example, with different values. You can recall the values you set using snapshots and send these values, for example, to your door and actually add snapshot. A, B, C, D. Okay, so I've got four of my snapshots, like this. It would be also cool in the future versions if I could really customize them at separate, as separate buttons. But anyway, this is really cool that I have this to recall the state of my mixer, for example, quickly. So it could be that I set up a version of my mix, for example, a version of my faders on my mixer, and then I want to compare uh, is it with some other idea and I don't have to use mixer snapshots that are here in my new endo, but I can use snapshots on my metagrid, which should be a bit more convenient sometimes. Nice. The third and the very last but really cool thing are paid add-ons. There's a new add-on store, guys. Looks like this. And for now, you can have objects, grids, or workspaces. Workspaces are not here to be bought. You've got some grids you can buy, for example, keyboard pack. Wow, keyboard presets. So you can use your iPad as a virtual keyboard. Nice. And objects, paid objects, which are pads, including MIDI keyboard and XY MIDI pads, guys. Let's test this out. Uh, XY pad looks like this. It's got two parameters. I, uh -huh, I have to press done. For now, I haven't assigned anything to this pad, but yeah, I can choose what I want to control with it. I can control, yes, of course, two parameters, but probably I can somehow, can I change controllers? Controller selection, one, two, three, four. MIDI parameters. Yeah, I can choose which MIDI CC I want to use. I can change the look of this quite quickly, I think. Uh, controllers, look, global look. Like this, I can change the number of controllers to... Whoa! I'm not going to configure it too much right now, but this is cool. And I'm surely going to have a grid with this, because I do have Chaos Pad KP3 here, 
Um, never, I never got used to using it as X, Y. I won't tell you why. I never fully liked it. Maybe that's the one I'm going to like. And the second one will be add pads. So I can add some MIDI uh, pads with notes. But when I edit this object here, I got isometric pads. There's velocity. I can have a single large pad or I can have a piano keyboard. And I want to make it two octaves for my... Ha! Ah, looks very nice. And of course, yes, shows normally as my MIDI note controller. Guys, I don't want to spend too much time in it all, but Metagrid 1.3 sounds really, really cool. And it's a revolution for my grids. And I have to tell you something. I actually was quite ready with my Cubase versions of my grids to put them on the add-on store with uh, Psemek and Metagrid Pro Team. Yes, actually, I was right ready with this. But I will not do this because I have to revolutionize my grids with what I'm seeing here. And it all feels really, really cool. So... Check it out if you are a Metagrid Pro user. If you're not, I really cannot seriously recommend you Metagrid Pro more. This is a game-changing app for your workflow. Guys, that's it for today. Hope to see you soon. Hope you liked it. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel and I'm going to see you very soon. Bye.